you want. Okay. I don't know if uh, you looked at the show notes or not. Yeah, I have them open. Okay. I don't know if you wanted to talk about uh, Chaos Knight since you don't like to talk about stuff or just, I guess, anticipation, but mm-hmm. that's what everybody's kind of talking about. I think we can talk about, like, what we're going to run, if we're going to run it. But I don't think we need to, like, do a codex review. That's silly. Well, that's what everybody's talking about. Like, everyone's talking about the, the leaks and all that other stuff. So Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. We just need to talk about the stuff we like and what we're going to run. Okay. Uh, did you want to talk about because we're two years? It seems like longer, but it's been only been two years. For what? For 8th edition. Really? It's been two years? Yeah, 2017. Huh. Feels like it's been forever. Time for a new edition. Let's go. Well, that's what they did with Age of Sigmar. So. No, I know. <laughs> I hope they don't do that, actually, because they just they gave me a Chaos it's... Nice Codex. <laughs> <laughs> That would really suck. I don't think I don't think it would be like big changes. Well, I don't know because now they're re release Well, we can talk about it, but sure, no problem. It sounds like something we could talk about. Uh, ATC, ETC. We can just briefly talk about it and how they affect the overall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess look. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Could it kind of matter, I guess. I don't know. It's just so skewed for me, anyway. But whatever. Yeah, a lot of it can be. Uh... Mm-hmm. All right. There's a few questions. You want to bring us in? Hold on on a second. Let me bring it up on the... Let me go into old man mode and get it on my... There we go. Zero viewers. Perfect. Look at that logo. So great. Oh, somebody... uh followed us 38 minutes ago and somebody subscribed with prime two hours ago wow sertorius subscribed with prime so thank you if you're watching and whiskey preacher which sounds like tom followed us 38 minutes ago <laughs> i don't think he'd use the word preacher that's not a very rc word. yeah it's true yeah it's not very good or like baptist <clears throat> or southern <laughs> something like that <clears throat> all right yeah. you ready yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of TFG Radio. Uh, just so everyone knows, uh, we do not have Tom, nor do we have Danny, who mm. is in the boonies, the boondocks of Oregon, <laughs> where he gets internet like once a day yeah. when the satellite happens to pass over his area for a half hour right. and he's standing on the local mountaintop. Right. So, right. All so terrible things. This, it's, just, it's just me and John. Very rovery. So I feel like that song from the, what is that puppet movie? I'm so rovery, the Kim Jong Il song or whatever. <laughs> Team America, right? Team, Team America? America, yeah, Team America. <laughs> I'm so rovery. And we're off to a fine start. <laughs> hey, why not? Whatever. Um, so a few things have happened since our last episode. If those of you who listen to Focus Fire know that. Uh, both Alan and I were at the Boise Cup uh, GT over in Boise, Idaho at ABU Games, which is a fabulous place, by the way, for a number of reasons, which we'll go into in a little bit. Cool. Um, but, and if you haven't listened to the ep- to the Focus Is it Fire still episode, like the old uh, gym? Yeah. Right? It's yeah. Like that's old, pretty cool. Like sports complex, basically. Yeah. So it's got a lot of yeah. space. Uh, there's a lot of space. There's like a, it's a ba- there's a basketball court. I think there's a few racquetball courts like upstairs. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a sauna that nobody's supposed to use, a locker room. Um, there's a lot of space. There's a swimming pool that's full of uh, uh, vegetation now. <laughs> it's, it's great. There's a sauna and a shower room nobody's supposed to use. <laughs> yeah. There's a sign that says, do not do not turn the sauna on, probably because it doesn't work. I would imagine it doesn't work. But it's, it's a lot of fun. It, I, this is my second time. It's the third year they've had it. It's my second time there. Um, each year, the increase... Uh, when I talked to, to Aaron, who who runs it, runs the GT, um, I asked, we t- kind of talked about how some places are like they want to hit like triple digits or mm-hmm. you know, or try to be the biggest in their area, or whatever. And we over the course of this past year, especially, uh, we've seen a lot of attempts at that. Yep. And the, the failure point, the different failure points in, in different areas of those tournaments to try to go bigger. Usually, it's on the terrain side. Yeah. Which is what we see the most of, and what's presented to us a lot, a lot of the time. 
Well, yeah, because it's easy to document via pictures and put on yeah. Facebook within five seconds of arriving. <laughs> but he his his philosophy is to just slow grow, almost like a slow grow league, mm-hmm. where he adds a few tables here and there. He wants enough space because we do you do play in the basketball court area, so there's a lot of echo. But more importantly, there's a lot of space, so yeah. he's able to fit forty about forty tables in there comfortably mm-hmm. with about. I'd say two or three foot space around each table. Cool. He could easily fit like 50, 60, probably even 70 tables in there, but it would be bust the nuts and not very comfortable. And very and loud. Very, very hot and sweaty and very loud. It is in a gymnasium, essentially. So there's a lot of echo. But uh, he, he just slowly growing it. He doesn't need to hit 100. To be honest, once you hit 58, you're really just doing it kind of, to, in my opinion, to almost show off. As opposed to just well, happy then, once you hit time. major, you're just trying to show off. I think if you're really Until we pushing get the for super that, major status or anything like that, <laughs> you're still going to hit for that, huh? It needs to happen, man. I'm just saying. Well, that's a whole other topic. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't disagree with you, but I just I just think it's a whole another issue that you're saying you you're not saying you don't disagree. Or I'm saying not saying I'm not saying disagree. I disagree with what you're saying. Got it. Because there's you're literally not disagree with what I'm saying because I'm right. That, <laughs> oh Jesus! Now I'm just gonna go contrarian at this point. Perfect. Everything's but going according to plan. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of GTS. I mean, let's be there honest. There are there's, a lot of GTS. You know, four or five minimum almost every weekend. It's almost like the GT <laughs> needs to turn to the new RT. <laughs> just about. But um. So we'll just dive, we'll just dive into that. It's, it's basically me and you. Yeah. Go ahead. So. You're up. It, for those that listen to uh, Focus Fire, you'll know that Alan went on his Around the America tour. The Around the America tour. Around the Middle America. Went to America. To yeah. play in a, a number of GTs. He played at the uh, Gentleman's GT in Vegas. Then he played Fly Monkey. And he ended the trip at Boise, where I met him. Uh, I flew there, uh, had my models broken, fixed them. At least you had your models. <laughs> yes. I could have lost them and then got brand new ones and, and then got mine back. I'm talking about Alan for getting his Zangors. I'm not talking about Jim. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about Jim. No. <clears throat> uh, well, Alan got lost his and just borrowed, hobo borrowed models of course along the way. Because Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so... And for those that don't know, I just took I just I just punted and took a night list. Good. Uh, it was two gallants, the Castellan, four squads of guardsmen, two three company commanders because I had two detachments, one mm-hmm. battalion and one spearhead. Because I took a mortar team, Catachen mortar team with Catachen wyverns. Okay. Why don't you talk about your mistake you made <laughs> before I even left? Mm-hmm. My mistake was listening to Danny. There you go. There you go. Because <laughs> um, I wasn't too sure about taking Terran. We've talked about list fluency on the show a lot. And you went right against your own advice. I pulled a John and I changed my list like a week before, day before the event mm-hmm. and changed my house yep. to Mechanicus. Yep. I didn't feel, I felt, I even felt Raven would have been better than Terran. Well, if the you're way running Castell and you still kind of need to run Raven. Otherwise, this Castellan just isn't going to do what you needed to do. Like, oh, and I took oh, and I had the Pokemon Assassin, which was the only change from the way I ran the list previously before the nerf. I hear Pokemon Assassins are good. That Pokemon Assassin. I, I hear probably, Pokemon Assassins can one shot Gilliman. Was was probably the <laughs> the uh, yes I saw that happen. Uh, that Pokemon Assassin option was probably the star of the tournament. It was my MVP for the tournament. Yeah, it's so good. Being able to just be like, hey, I'm taking this crazy, really good dude. And in the next game, oh, I'm going to take this other crazy, really good dude. That's totally different than the last one because situationally this one's better. Yeah. yeah. It's so, really powerful. So I'll go over my games really quickly. I ended up going, actually, I predicted one in four. Because <laughs> I wasn't, because like you said, Liz you Fluency, confident. I wasn't I wasn't too sure of Tyrannus. Um, but I ended up going two, two, and one. Very close to going mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, three and two, or two and three. Right. We want to look at it. Yeah, uh, whatever. 
but uh, first round I played against Ryan Lynn, and he was playing Gene Steeler Cult, and he actually came was at one of the top tables. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's not too so bad he, to lose to then. No, uh, he had a uh, Gene Steeler Cult, Gene Steeler Cult with Tyranids, which included nine Carnifexes, and wow. uh, that's interesting. <laughs> nine shooting Carnifexes. That's not what I was expecting you to say at all. Although I did not look at the list from this event, so. And then he had a uh, uh, Imperial Guard with the Bulgrin. Hmm. Uh, but I went first, so I rushed my gallants forward. They failed their charges. Well, Perfect. one failed to charge. It's almost after... like you needed to have House Terran <laughs> in your very the, first game. The fight against stratagem would have helped immensely. Yes. And but that and when the I took additional movement. Right. No, because that's long strider. Long strider is a warlord trait. Oh, that's right. That's right. So I could I and I made a bad mistake in movement where I had the long strider guy too far away from the other guy. So that was womp, my bad. Womp. But I couldn't make any sixes to save my life in terms of the feel no pain. The other bad part is that you can't use feel no pain against mortal wounds. No. So yeah. Um basically the Bulgrins didn't die. Uh knights started to die. I was able, actually able to get 21 points out of it, which I, it turns out was probably not to my benefit in that... Um, you got a high pairing. Yeah, I had a high loss pairing, yeah. and that affected my round two opponent, who I played round two. Um, you, uh, and that, that was a theme. I found that interesting that you could take Bulgrin, and then you could also have the Carnifexes in the list. Yeah, because the, the Bulgrin are brood brothers or whatever. Right, are. that's crazy. I was just thing thinking is. about that as you said it. I was like, "Whoa, all right." <laughs> and the Carnifexes are all single models. They're they're like the tanks. They just die. They just, you buy them in threes, but when they, yeah. you deploy them, they deploy as they mm -hmm. become separate units. Yeah, which is more annoying. Yes, um, quite. And he played them as Yarmonger, which is the oh no, he had Malanthropes near him, so they're like minus one to hit or whatever. So. But I chose the Vindicare sniper, and he was just sniping. He was just sniping away characters. So in that game, he was my MVP. Castellan didn't do much because he's not Raven. Nope, that's the way but, that works. Hello to Sweden, Guru Bananas Online. Oh, okay, hey Sweden. Oh, and then and hello, Halo. hello to yeah, hello to Jason. No, no, up he's, late. it's Iron Halo. I don't see yeah, Jason. That's Jason. But it says Iron Halo. Yeah, that's Jason. <laughs> He, he said in chat it's Jason. I know he did. That's awesome. Jason. <laughs> Jason, you sweet summer child. <laughs> sweet, sweet, innocent child. <sighs> Add another one to your sea lining chart. Give myself a badge. <laughs> I'm going to have to make myself badges. Get your sea lining badge. I'm going to cover my uh, hashtag wrecked vest with sea lion badges instead of like Badges for tournaments I've won. <laughs> or badges for sea lion people on the chat Twitch stream. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to do. Sea lion badges for every person I see lion on Twitch. Oh, my God. Thank A you, Giant Jason. one for every time it's Tom. <laughs> extra bit, extra large. You need, like, two jackets. Um, he doesn't fall for it as much as he used to. It's boring. No, but he questions everything you say now. Oh, I know. It's so, it's so awesome. He's like a conspiracy theory nut. <sighs> um, I'm going to turn him into an anti-vaxxer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so on that game, I sc actually scored like twenty. It was like twenty-one to thirty-one mm -hmm. or something like that, or twenty-one to thirty-three. It was. I scored like a ton of points, which is, is a theme in my games, and especially at any game, I actually score a lot of points. It's hard when you score up. a lot of points and lose. That yeah, was like my very open experience. It's rough. Yeah. So yeah, because my second game. So I lose that one, which is fine. We actually went to time. We played all six turns, and we went to more or less time. Well, that's good. Uh, the, the next game, I played Sean, Sean Sharp, who lost against uh, Colin Sherman. And we bo both had high losses. And he was running Blood Angels with, or not Blood Angels, Dark Angels with Imperial Guard. Again, Bulgrin, mm -hmm. Mortars, Wyvern, Strachan, because they're Katachin, and uh, the Talon Master, Samael. Leviathan and some dread uh, ironclad dreadnoughts with all the last cannons. Okay. 
and we were on a tow table that had a lot of high walls, so it was tough for my knights to maneuver around. Yeah, that's rough. So that that kind of dictated, limited, and dictated where I could go, and it, I made a bad move or in the, I made a bad deployment, and it, that just kind of affected how the game was played out. There was a guy in this game. I chose the Everser assassin. Okay, because there was some hordes to chew through. Well, he had a twenty. Units. He had a he had a twenty man conscript squad. Yeah, that makes sense. But more more importantly, I wanted to get into his backfield because he charges three d six. Yeah. So I can more let so I can shut down his wyvern because I had picked engineers, so I knew mm -hmm. he was going to target my engineers. Oh yeah, for sure. That was <clears> a smart play. I was still able to get like two or three engineer points. Mm-hmm. Um, and because I was able to, to come in contact with the wyvern for like two turns and reduce it down to the second level where he hits on fives because <laughs> there was one one turn where he wa I only had one guy left in one of my engineers and he wanted to shoot it to get the easy kill and he missed with all his wyvern shots because <laughs> he didn't roll a single five. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So just taking them down to uh, that second tier was enough to affect the game yeah, that way. It, the tiers are important to remember. Like a lot of people, casual players. I've noticed, like, at our store, in our league, mm -hmm. we'll just be like, eh, whatever to, like, the tiers, and, like, kind of not worry about it. Yeah. And you're like, no, you got to worry about it, because those tiers make a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Like, Hitting you can't just let five. your opponent get away with that. Hitting on fives instead of fours is, is mm -hmm. huge. Um, so, I can't really see what the, the game came down to me not pushing the middle. I Because I've sent the... the uh, Gallants on the my, to my left to push that way, but all he did was block with guardsmen. If okay. I, I think I should have pushed through to the middle where he pushed with his bulgrins, even though because he got because uh, I went first. Okay, and but I wasn't able to get to anybody important. Nice. Okay, I got to kill guardsmen. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. okay, and and so because of that, I, and I didn't really push towards the middle quickly enough or soon i didn't do it turn one which is what i should have done yeah with knights you always got to go straight to the center yeah like because with, in the game i played last night <clears throat> my knights were as far as possible turns one like you just have right. to because when they die you want them to blow up in your enemy's lines yeah i'll talk about that in game three <laughs> yes please do <laughs> good story good times um so that i think that was my baby say the everser was a star in that one because he he assaulted the wyvern killed a, a priest and then killed a 20 man conscript squad <laughs> nice. and then when he died he put more wounds on everything else around and helped me reduce the uh wyvern to the second tier on his damage does chart. the everser automatically explode no it explodes on a four okay a four i think i had to re-roll it too but still was worth it yeah for sure <clears throat> But it was it was like totally worth it because he lasted a lot longer, a lot more turn turns of combat than I expected. I mean, anytime you can cause mortal wounds to things around you, it's worth that CP reroll, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I caused he caused like ten wounds against the twenty man squad himself, and then the rest of the squad basically disappeared. Right from morale. For morale, I forget how many wounds he actually did. It was more than tw ten. It was just a lot. Yeah. So that was like, like straight dice. Yeah. Straight dice plus X. Plus X, yeah. Uh, so, so I actually lost that game uh, 22 to 28. It wasn't that uh, no, that's not bad at all. That far of a spread. And again, I scored super Which high. It seems to be your theme. Yeah. Well, you're playing nice. Um, they don't usually lose big. Yeah, I don't lose. I don't score like only two points like some people. Um, Who does but uh, round, three, I, round three, I played Seth, um, Seth Rourke, and he was playing pure Gene Steelers. Okay. He did have a Swarm Lord, Flying Hive Tyrant, uh, the Malanthrope, the little ones it's and the crazy big ones. You can take all those things and still be pure gene stealers. Uh, he had the, uh, uh, what do they call Oh, Hive Guard. You need a Hive Guard and then a, uh, two units of 20 gene stealers and a bunch of uh, Hormagons. And some Ripper squads that he, unfortunately, he chose them as his engineers. This conversation is triggering my uh, pure rules <laughs> rant. I can feel it. I can feel it. <clears throat> so, I believe I went first again. Oh, I no, I did go first because I seized on him. How are you going first all these games and losing? Why you got to break my your theory? My theory that way. 
God damn, I don't. <laughs> now that I think about it, I went first in four out of my five games. Well, yeah, because you have so few drops because <laughs> of the knights. Well, this one I seized because oh, this, this he yeah he went to go first and then I rolled and I didn't see the roll but I saw him sigh so I knew I seized. Oh, because like went behind terrain. It went behind terrain, so I didn't see it. Nice. And he he was able to see it. That's always the best. So <clears throat> so one guy one knight goes forward for full tilt. Mm-hmm. And the other one kind of stays behind just to hold an objective. Gallant, the the Castellan Rex, um, and that one I chose the Eversur again. No, the uh, yeah I chose the Evers Evers no the Vindicare. I chose the Vindicare because I had him sniping the Malanthropes and whatever yeah, little. That's smart. Are Malanthropes infantry keyword or no? Yes. Yeah, be they are because I would hit two. I would I had to roll twos to wound him. Cool. That's good. I took, I took him. I took his warlord down to one wound, so he had to go hide them. I could. I missed that last like five plus to kill him. Yeah, I wish the Vindicare had the ability to shoot out of line of sight, but that would probably make it too good. <laughs> oh my, that would be too good. Because the eliminators can, but that would probably be really too good. Whoa, the chat's going crazy. I'm not I'll paying attention because I was uh, painting. Let's see. Ray said that he was today years old when, the, <laughs> when he found out the Forge World Chaos Knights don't have the same keywords or the right keyword. It's off by a couple of letters. I did scroll down the meme, the memes scrolling, so you should be able to read those easier. Uh, uh, Forge Knights don't have the right keyword for the Chaos Knights. Yeah. Right, I they don't. Look. Do they? I don't know. I, they don't. I, they don't have the right keywords. It's off. What, is, what do they say? What does the keyword say? Well, one, it's missing like the bracket, right? It's missing the bracket. Right. So there you go. Done. Okay, I guess. That's Same. weird. Whatever. Rules is rules. I don't know if the bracket... At least that's what Ray's saying in the chat. Oh. <laughs> well, bracket denotes faction. No, bracket devotes demo, uh, bracket gives you the legion. <laughs> See you, Jason. God, Jason God left. He said he's old. <laughs> that's fine. He is old. It's fine. He's an old. He's an old soul. <laughs> Hold on. Got to look it up now. I'm bothering you? Yeah, I'm look. I got. Yeah, now you have to look it up. But it would be in the FAQ. It wouldn't be in the book. I believe, but yeah, bracket bracket denotes like chapter, t- like faction or legion. Okay. But there's there's only one. Oh yeah, I see what he's saying, because in the book it says Quester Traitorus. Yeah. But I don't think they're called that in the no, codex. They're not. They're called something else. Yeah, Axis of Edgers be a Saint sub faction. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So that's that's different than keyword than just keyword. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if it's spelled differently, technically you can argue that you can't allow it. Right, because it's not spelled the thing. Right, spelling counts, guys. Like, are we it's using not the same are word? We using, it's not the same word. Are we using European English or American? Depends on what your spelling. definition of is is. <laughs> I well, like, you look at it. I feel like, I feel like that's going to become relevant soon. Yeah, very soon, actually. So, so the game ended up being just me, you know, using the the wyverns to kill his engineers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the he used the as one does. He shot the gene stealers at my guys, but then all I did was back. I, one squad would die, and then the other squad, he or whoever he wrapped into, would just back up, and I, they'd get shot by everything else. Mm-hmm. Usually by the Castellan because they're near the Castellan. Yeah. What ended up happening, and then um, the Castellan could just go over and stomp on him to kind of finish him off. So the guy, so the what, so the first gallant goes in, uh, puts wounds on a bunch of guys, doesn't kill the the flying hive tyrant or the the uh, the the uh, swarm lord. Okay. It dies and yeah. explodes. It explodes because I use the strat and puts a bunch of wounds on everybody around. Mm-hmm. Second knight goes in on the other side, kills a bunch of, of a bunch of other stuff, kills the carn effects because he had like two carn effects or whatever. He explodes and finishes off essentially the rest of the army. Wow. Okay then. After both knights exploded, all he had left was 
I think two Carnifexes, four Hive Guard. Okay. Some Gene Stealers, which I ended up killing with Wyverns. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, Harmagons, which I ended up killing with Wyverns. At the end of the game, he just had like one Carnifex and two Hive Guard left. So you won this game. So I won this game. Thanks to, th essentially, thanks to Knights blowing up. Yeah, which is not uncommon. Like, they go in, they smash some stuff, they do a bunch of damage, and then when they die, they do more damage. Like, that's. And what's funny was the second do. one, the second explosion, I didn't use the strat. I just happened to roll a you six. Just happened to roll six. Which makes it even worse. <laughs> that makes it even better. So I did about 40 mortal wounds over, between the two knights. Okay. Approximately. That's fair. That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> and that one, he scored it as 17 to 15, but it was actually 27 to 15, but I didn't care. I didn't realize it until the next morning. Oh, okay. And at that point, I didn't care. Whatever. No, it doesn't matter. Neither of you are contention. It doesn't matter. No. But in the end of the day, I was one and two. Still not convinced about Tyrannus. Still not convinced about Tyrann <laughs> Tyrannus. No, it was the inferior house that you could have chosen. You could have chosen a different house. Right. I may as well have at that point. Just saying, Danny. You could have played what he knew. Or even Raven. Even Raven would have been better. <laughs> Stiff next studio saying, yeah, g is coming in aggressive. It's been a terrible mistake every time I played GSC. <laughs> played against GSC. Yeah. He said he was trying that because I said, why didn't you launch like the Swarm Lord? Because he, he, I guess he figured that he's, he had a better chance, at least against the infantry. Because when he shot them at me, he didn't go after the knights. He went after the infantry hmm. with the gene stealers. I mean, yeah, but yeah. But he couldn't. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to try point in, right. uh, any of my squads. Yeah, that makes a difference, I think. Yeah. So, So that was day one. Cool. We had a nice dinner. Where did we have? Oh, at Sonic, which I was forced to eat because Alan was driving. Because uh, Alan was uh, drowning his sorrows in Sonic. Now, earlier, earlier, yeah, because earlier that day in the morning, we normally eat at either Denny's uh, or uh, Black Bear Restaurant. One of the two. Black Bear Cafe. Black Bear Cafe, that's what it's called. Instead, we went to Cra uh, Cracker Barrel, which I enjoyed. I don't know if Alan did. I know he didn't at the end of the day. Because he said we're never there he, again. He claimed superstitiously that that was the reason he lost. Yes. <laughs> so that's the end of day one. Uh, day two, uh, we go and uh, <clears throat> day two, I'm playing against a Custos player. Yep. Uh, David Exberg. It's actually his first like big tournament. He said the area he come from in in uh, Montana, they're not big on tournament plays. So, but they're starting to like dip their toes. Sure. So he wanted to go to the Boise Cup to try it out. Cool. He was having a lot of fun. Good. I was um, going to say, how's a Custodes player <clears throat> one and two? Um, so his list had the three Calidus tanks, two, I think it was two five man squads of jet bikes mm -hmm. or three, two squads of guys on foot, but no banner. And he okay. realized that he realized that after the first day. Yeah. He should have yeah, brought course. But again, he's learning, so he, you know. Yeah. Um, that game, I went first. Uh, again. He, this was mission four. <laughs> so this is the one where you put, and I put all my models first. Mm -hmm. So so I deployed first, he deployed second. Um, I ended up going, I can't remember if I seized or not, but I ended up going first. And he deployed his calluses directly across from my gallants. Okay. Two of them. Two of them were directed across. One was off to the side. The deployment was Dawn of War. So I advance one. He advances like 18 or no, 17 or something really far. And then the, the so the Castellan kills one Calidus. Then the Knight kills the other Calidus. Wow. And then his turn, he damages the Knight. The second Knight comes in. And finishes off that Calidus while the damaged one goes after Caladius. the bikes. Whatever. Calidus is Caladius. an assassin. Oh, that's right, Caladius. And that assassin I chose was oh, a Vindicare. Peasants. That assassin I chose was a Vindicare. I don't remember dead languages. It's not dead. It's like I literally in a book. <laughs> As part of a game and rule set. That's, that, that is futuristic gothic, which is a future language, so it's not alive yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alive if you're using it. <laughs> I don't use it in This is the one time I wish Tom was here. 
There you have it, Tom. You have it on record. There's a time where I wish you were there. Yeah. Oh, Pyro Weasel, thanks for the follow. Yeah, there's a lot of people, I think, who listen to just the podcast and then don't follow us on Twitch. It's not big. Yeah. But, uh, so, um, so then I just mopped up. And he, this one had magic boxes, so it was able to hide the guys inside buildings. Mm-hmm. But by that point, everything else was dead. If he had come out, I would have just killed whatever had come out. But we finished with about, with about an hour left to go. Nice. So we just talked about him getting that, that competitive ITC stuff going in this area and to talk cool. to his ITC rep in that area or to email me. Yeah. So hopefully he's listening and he remembers to let the guy know or to remind him to send me a message to, good to, have to those talk about. Grow the community. Yeah. So I would like to note, so maybe he shouldn't listen, that it, during that game, he didn't kill a single model in my army. Oh. Because he fired everything at the at the knights. Yeah. And they, he'll shoot him at the two plus armor knight. Yeah. And by the time he was shooting at the two plus armor knight, his Caladius. Yeah, there you go. Tank, you got it right. His mm-hmm. Calidus was only uh, hitting on <laughs> his Calidus was hitting on worst. like three or fours, and his bikes, so his 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 bolter bikes weren't going to do anything to the knight with the two plus armor. So, so that that was that was that game. That game was um, thirty four to ten. Okay. Because when knights win, they kind of win big usually. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, last game we'll get was against they don't Conrad. Lose big, but they win big. Oh yeah. Yeah. That one. The last game was against Conrad. Uh, I'm going to say his last name hard, but it's Kurz. Car- Carriker. Con- Conrad Kurz. May as well. Carriker. C A R R I K E R. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen his name uh, on the ITC list. Yeah, so he's Glad playing. I never Ren- had to say it. Oh, <laughs> he's, played, he's playing Renegade Knights. Cool. Which is uh, two double Gatlings and a Castellan. Which are going to get a lot better on Friday. <laughs> um, and they were. And it was only sixteen hundred and sixty six points. I'm like, I'm like, weird. That's weird. Then when I asked him about it, he's like, oh yeah, I just summoned the rest of the yeah. army. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh man, that one I went. Them plague bears. Yeah, so that one I went second. Don't. Why do you always got to ruin the story? Because that's um, what everybody's gonna do. Everybody knows this is what he's gonna do as soon as you said you're summoning. What else would you summon? Right. You'd summon a screen. You're summoning uh, a screen of plague bears. Blood letters. Um, blood letters. Some blood letters. He, if he gone second, maybe, and he needed to assault. Nope. But uh, so he saw he did. He went first. I wasn't able to seize. If I had seized, it would have been a whole. It, 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 this one was really a game of who goes first. So he goes first. Summons the plague bearers. Yeah, night on night. Of course it is. Yeah, he takes he takes my Castellan down to just a just above half. Uh, he, then yeah, I put some wood on him. Nice to have House Raven. You could have used two C two CP to act a full three P C P for order No, of I can I can do that because Tyrannus is Mechanicus. Right, but you can't do Order of Companions. Order of Companions would have definitely taken down his knights. Maybe, because he rotated Ion, so it yeah. doesn't matter. He only has two st- stratagems right now, so, and he had nine command points. So. Right. So what I, pro- I took I, once every turn. <laughs> yeah, basically. For the first two turns anyway, until he kills whatever he needs to kill. Yeah, basically, yeah. So this one I took in the Green Five. I took the Vindicare again, but he didn't really do much in that one because he didn't need to. This one I took the Calexus because six plus needing six pluses to hit. Yes, I thought would have been good. In retrospect, I think I should have taken the cat the Calidus hmm. to make him spend extra CPs. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I think that, that probably would have been good. Because spending four command points to rotate iron shields on your Dominus class is like mm-hmm. a, it's like half his command points. Oh yeah, that's, that's so I think I made mis- that's player. where I made a mistake, but still, uh, he he deep struck in, held an objective, and that was more or less what because I got a because it was game six where characters on objectives gave you bonus points, three of them. Yeah, so I was able to get the bonus like for a couple of turns, and that one I took ground control, which I yeah, was able to get. You make every points. night possible character. Yeah, and, just and that's what I did. The objectives. Uh, I went up. I got the knights in, unfortunately, but I wasn't able to take down the the Castellan, mm-hmm. his Castellan. I did get to use the zombie knight ability with my Castellan after he got quote unquote killed. Yeah, because he got back up. I, he got back up, put him to full, and then I was able to severely damage his Castellan to like four wounds left. 
Okay, well, that's not bad. Well, because that that got me because I took a uh, Titan mm-hmm. Slayer. Yeah, yeah. Titan sure. Slayer, and that got me enough wounds to get all the full. So I got full and everything. See a knife player across the table from you, Titan Slayer done. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you add the explosions from the knights, and that puts even more wounds on them. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was able to get Titan Slayer. It it, it was a lot of back and forth because. If the first table we were at was the one I had played before, and it was one with the magic boxes where I played the against. What do you mean the, the first table you were at? The the last table I was at. Sorry. Oh, okay. The like, last did table you get I was forced at. Forced to move tables. No, no, we were actually the first. So the first table I was at, we they for the pairings was the same table I was at before. I see what you're saying. Okay. So it had the magic boxes. I'm like, cool. I put all my infantry in the magic boxes, and I don't have to worry about the knights. Yeah. They did a repairing. So I, I got moved to a different table where there were still places to hide, but there were no magic box. Boo hiss. But I was still able to hide almost my whole army, <laughs> except nice. for the knights. That's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. So the game came down to like, okay, was I like big L's or something. One. Yeah, they were there were a couple big <laughs> yeah, L's, and big there was like a that. bastion or imperial bastion or whatever that was mm-hmm. able to hide stuff. Um, so it it, and then after he killed all my knights, there was really nothing for him to do. Yeah. I could still hold objectives. But he couldn't really kill anything because he couldn't see anything. Right. He had the missile pods, but they didn't do enough damage until the very last. Oh, he had iron had... storms. Yeah, dude, I love but iron all, storms. All, all, he, all he kept on shooting at was one of my wyverns. He right. didn't shoot it. He probably should have shot at one of the squads or even the mortar team. He didn't shoot at the mortar team, anything like that. After my game last night, I'm definitely sold on the 16 point iron pods. <laughs> so after we tallied up all the points, we ended up with a 25 25 tie. Okay. So that they ended up two, two, and one. We we and we we finished You're in like not an hour. On Team Brohammer, you can't get ties. <laughs> I only they only get ties on Team Brohammer if you're in the top five. Oh yeah, I guess that you're not in, not in the five. bottom five. Yeah, they only get the ties when it matters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when it actually matters for the tournament itself, they get a tie. They get a tie. Excellent. So Simple. two, two, and one, much better than I thought I would do. Just simple mistakes. Um, I don't think I would take Tyrannus again. I would either take Raven or Terran. Raven. If you have a Castellan, it's always Raven. I don't know. I being do. able to being being able to roll that extra die when I advance or charge is what ended up being huge for a couple of my games. I, you do take more gallons than I do because currently I'm running double Crusaders with next. Yeah, you're double. Yeah, you're all shooting. You have to take Raven. Not all shooting. Those knights are not all shooting. Those Crusaders were up in his grill. Stopping that stuff, right? But you have two guns as opposed to like yes. a chain, a chain sword Three. or a fist. Because I count that iron storm pod. That's pretty damn good. All right, whatever, Mister Pendantic. Um, but uh, okay, well, so... technically, because there's also two stubbers <laughs> and a flamer. <laughs> See, now I'm being a pedant. So, and it was a lot of fun. They actually give out. They have a raffle for just for like doing stuff. So everyone usually walks away with something. That's cool. I like that when when tournaments do that. That's fun. So it was it was it was a lot of fun. Um, I would Makes highly home, recommend feeling good about themselves. Yeah, I would. I'll talk about that in a moment too. Everyone, everyone, anyone who should go to that event at least one. Everybody went home feeling good about themselves. Except Alan, because he couldn't feel good about himself because he lost. And Alan he was, ended up going. His oh my god! Going into the last game, we were both two and two. So all he did was tease Alan that I'm, I might have a better record than he does. Oh my god! At so the great. end of the day, so <laughs> I had to fuel his rage. That's so good. <clears throat> But um, so I so if if you if they if you're nearby or willing to make the fly the flight or the drive or whatever, I would recommend going to Boise Cup. They always sell out every year. Aaron does add more spots every year, but they still sell out fairly quickly. Yeah, it's it's cool, and there's a lot of good people that go up to that one, and a lot of people yeah. that live up there that are great people. Brandon Grant usually goes, uh, yeah. and Michael Snyder's there. Yeah, he lives there uh, now, so. The winner was Rich Kilton again. All right. He and he beat Brandon Gant- Grant. They only went to three turns, but they did use up all of their uh, time on the clock. They did use a chess clock. Well, that's good. I mean, that's that's. I mean, it's not good that they only went to turn three, but at least everybody used all their time. Yeah, they both they both clocked out. Yeah, and Rich Rich won by one point. It's still weird that you only get turn three. But we're... <laughs> I'm just saying. Over I, you know, whatever. They all they have both had an hour and a half. How they want to use it. Look, how I mean, they want to use it. Those are two really good players, one of which was the best in the world last year. So whatever happened, happened in that game as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so Rich wins number two for Orcs. 
mm-hmm. and for himself. I think it's his second in a row because it's because that was literally yes. two weeks after yeah. Gentleman's GT. Because he won Gentleman's also, yeah. Yes. Also with Orcs. Orcs on the rise. Yeah. Um, again, a lot of fun. I think anyone, if they have a chance, they should go at least once to the Boise Cup. Yeah, I would love to be able terrain, to go one of these. Terrain times. was. Uh, terrain is how I like it. Uh, I had a discussion on the group about it in regards to do you, do you want standardized terrain like Nova does, or would you rather have almost like something different at every table? Yeah, I and think it depends how, on the event. I think I would want to know going ago. into the event how it's going to be. So, like, if I was going to Nova, I'd be like, cool, standardized ter- terrain. But, like, I wouldn't want to show up and be, like, surprised by standardized terrain. You don't want the, the TO to tell you, oh, by the way, all hills and infinite. No. I would the morning not of. be a fan of that. I might, in <laughs> fact, ask for a refund. Depending on what army I'm playing. <laughs> Always. But it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoy I – think, I think now I would prefer an event have – and I'm, I know I'm not going to do this for art because I don't have the time right now, but maybe for next year. Mm-hmm. That has a set of standardized terrain, like a set of six. That And it's like, here's the possibilities that you may play on. Sure. That'd be cool. Because then you have standardized terrain, but at the same time, you can One of which on needs different... to be planted bowling ball. Yes. <laughs> it's not going to be planted. One well, of which I guess should absolutely be planted bowling ball. Literally nothing? Literally nothing. Bring your own terrain. Bring, bring That'll your be fortification. the bottom table. Can't bring a fortification? Get good. <laughs> It'll be Tau on Tau. Oh, my God. Yes. That's the Tau on Tau. Planet table. Bowling Ball automatically gets Tau on Tau matchups round one. All Tau get paired round one. Planet Bowling Ball. Have fun. Have fun making each other miserable the way you make all other players miserable. Can we ban Dayton, by the way? He talk- wants to talk about Star Wars Legion. But do what? <laughs> he wants to talk-, talk about Star Wars Legion. Star Wars Legion chat. is not a thing. That is not a thing. That's a fail. That's failed. We don't talk about failed games on this it's podcast. Not failed. Failure. Absolute I see failure. It. You still sell it. I mean, I see it being sold on shelves. <laughs> I don't see it being taken off the shelf. I don't see it being played. There's a Saturday Star Wars day at the store now. Fake news. This this Saturday is the first one. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Same day as the forty K tournament? Yes. Ooh, good luck with that. Yeah. Although the forty K tournament isn't exactly uh well, uh, advertised, well, so... It, it, well, it starts at 5, so it starts when the 40K one's winding down, so... That's lame. It starts what after kind of an 40K. event starts at 5? Yeah. Oh, I know what kind of an event. An event for a failing game starts at 5. <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> uh, why people tune in, right? That's why people tune into our show? Yeah, they want to talk Except about... Except for the guy that sent hate mail and that other guy that sent hate mail. Oh my god! And that fourth guy that sent hate mail. Yeah, sold out LVO. Look at Star Wars Legion sold out at LVO. What doesn't sell out at LVO? LVO is like the biggest miniature gaming thing in the world. Everything sells out at LVO. They also only sell like forty tickets or something. Oh my like god, that. forty! I don't 40, know. 40, I don't know. That's that's Reese. Oh my god, so good. Forty, forty tickets. Uh, so, so that He's was the week, that purpose. was the weekend. He just wants to hear me rant. I know. He shouldn't give him what he wants. So, Alan, Alan, like I mentioned before, Alan and I were driving back from Boise, which is normally about a 15, 16 hour drive. This is the reason why you travel with Alan, just so everybody's aware. Yeah, I travel with Alan a lot, uh, especially since we've known each other and been going to tournaments together for like 20 years now, just about. Um, and what's the reason why? Because uh, there's always a story. There you go. Uh, at least one. Every Gather time. around, children, it's story time. <laughs> so, we end up leaving at like five o'clock. Right at literally right after the uh, the event, mm-hmm. we drive for a few hours till about ten. We stop at I believe it was Wells because we passed through Jackpot and uh, Jackpot Nevada, and then we stopped. Then we went Jackpot to, Nevada. We That's not a place. It is a place. Don't lie. It's no. It's Nevada. Of course, there's a place called Jackpot. So we stopped. I think the place was called Wells. Is there a place named Hoover Ranch, Nevada, too? It probably, if you really nice. look, nice. I wouldn't be surprised. So, so we end Somebody's up going Googling that right now. I guarantee it. <laughs> sure. Why not? So we end up going to, um, we stop. we're getting play. We're getting close to the place we're supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Alan, Alan is there and we get there. And the first thing I see is 
a Chinese restaurant. It's called, I think, like Chinatown. I thought it was a Mexican restaurant. Well, let let me finish. Why do you always have to ruin the story? What? Well, because you tell me is, stories and then you start telling them differently, and then I get confused. Not, oh my god! Where's Tom? I'm old. We want. So uh, we go to the. So we end, so the sign says China. I think it says like Chinatown Chinese cuisine. And then the sign uh, under it says, I forget what the name was, but it basically said Mexican restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. Perfect. Awesome. So there's a bit of an identity crisis there. Well done, Hooverville. <laughs> and so we go there, and there's two things apparent. First is there's no registration desk or place to go check in. Wonderful. All the lights are off. There's a sign that says registration open, but all the but I can say all the to lights actually register. Yeah, all the lights are off. The second thing I noticed is there's the Flintstones car on the side of the building. Just Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture. I don't know why it was there. I don't know if they happened to buy it like when the local Flintstones attraction went out of business or something. I don't know. Did they have a Flintstones attraction? <laughs> I don't know, but not anymore because the car's right there at that <laughs> scary hotel the, at the Bates Motel. But people were staying in the in the motel. There were cars and parked in there. You know, there was just nobody checking anybody in. There was nobody at the desk, and I didn't even know where the desk was. Closed. Would you arrive at like ten o'clock at night? Yeah, ten o'clock. Sleepy little town. Everybody's asleep. Yeah, I don't know. Probably run it's by not... some like ninety-seven year old old man. I mean, maybe like, well, there's a dead. Oh well, I'll just lose the business because I'm going to bed. <laughs> there's a dead body in there for the ninety-year-old guy. But why, why go go all morbid? I'm just saying, it is Vegas. Or it is Nevada. Yeah. It is Hoorville, Nevada. Yes. So we ended up going to like a Motel 6 or Motel 8 or whatever nearby. And uh, and <laughs> I'm not going to go into Alan asking for his money back. <laughs> That's a whole, whole other adventure. That's pretty good. It's a good story. I like it. But he did eventually get his refund in a way. Um <laughs> We did find a Den- we did find a Denny's. Oh, good! He had his Denny's fix, huh? That was in Eli, Nevada, inside okay. a inside a casino <clears throat> that had some uh, Will Rogers memorabilia. Okay, it was all Western, so there's and taxidermy, taxidermy, very, exam- very examples of tax. Yes, <laughs> that was great. Well done, Hooverville, Nevada. Those in two different towns. How did you get? To, how what? Because the the well, yeah, we stayed at uh, Wells, and then we drove until we found Denny's at Eli. But this is like the boonies. How far did you have to drive? Like forty five miles. It was like a couple hours actually. Holy crap! <laughs> we had to drive because we left at like seven in the morning. Why would you drive a couple hours and then drive a couple hours back? No, we didn't go back. It was on the oh, way. Oh, I thought you were talking about like dinner that night. You went and no, found no, no, a Denny's. No. Okay, I see. No, we found a Denny's for breakfast after we woke up. This makes much more sense now to me. There we Good. go. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Whatever. I'm painting. And what are since we're since we're on that? That was that was more or less the end of the trip. It only took us. Yeah. We left at seven. It took us about twelve hours to get back. Uh, we terrible. only stopped for we only stopped for breakfast. That was it. It's not great. It's not terrible. Any other stuff? Didn't make any other stops because. Uh, Alan just wanted to get home after his uh, three-week excursion across the middle of America. Nice, nice. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it, so uh, I, I I like driving because I like seeing everything. Flying was okay, but I mean they did mess up some of my models. I did buy a new case so I can fly with models next time. That's probably a good call. As on the carry on, yeah. So, boys' cup, lots of fun. I highly recommend it. Terrain was great. Prizes were great. Aaron, the TO is great. Nice. Uh, everything is since, great. Uh, apparently, everything is great. Since we're uh, fine here, watch, every, thank everything. You. How about you? Since everyone's watching John paint, John, I want to tell everybody what you're painting. Uh, these are going to be red corsairs. Really. Yeah, so when I run Chaos Knights, I'm going to have a battalion of Red Corsairs. How many Red Corsairs are you going to have? This is 15 for my troops' choices, obviously. So 15 Red Corsairs. 
And then a Executioner, which is a Age of Sigmar model that I, um, let's see if I can get that to focus. And focus for a second. And I put the Chaos backpack on and obviously gave him a little fist. And then I took another Age of Sigmar model and 40 k if I'd it. Let's see if this one focuses better. No. Yeah, this one does not. No, the, the other camera. Oh. So I chaos. I I have 40 k if I'd that one. Took one of the uh, Loyalist swords and made it like a Gladius. Okay. Come on, focus, you bastard. There we go. <laughs> and uh, here's the the corn lord thingy from Age of Sigmar. That'll be Did you just happen to have Age of Sigmar models lying around? Well, because I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do corn berserkers for a while. Mm-hmm. Remember with Alpha Legion? So oh, I yeah. bought the Age of Sigmar coronate models to like put some shoulder pads on and like backpacks. Right. Um, because I was like, that's cool. Those are cooler models. I don't really like the berserker models are really old, you know, sculpts. So I was like, cool, I'll put chaos heads on some of them. I'll put, they already are covered with corn stuff. So they're clearly going to be corn, you know, um, mm-hmm. and I'll put power armor backpacks on them and great. I have berserkers. And then that list ended up not being good. So I never finished them. So I didn't have, yes, <laughs> I did just have these models lying around. And then I found an Aramon. Oh, I'm really? going to buy the Aramon from Prospero Burns again because I was like, cool, I want an Aramon in case yeah, I want to run you some. looking for one or asking yeah. for one. And I was like, oh, look, I do have an Aramon. So I primed them all red today. And uh, modeling to, away. Got to work. Yeah. Well, there's no kids in my house right now, so I get to do all kinds of stuff. Uh oh. Watch out. That's how I painted two nights in two days. Including taking in the one night from uh, only primed to fully done yesterday in four hours. Oh my god! I'm so, assuming you did it just to piss off Tom. I did not. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was in the back of my mind. That like, hey, I could tell Tom, hey, look how fast I painted this thing. But more, it was because the guy I was playing last night, Ishmael, had been complaining in the team chat about how long it took to build the repulsor executioners he wanted to use. Yeah. And that he was only going to have one done instead of the two. And I was like, dude, I painted a full-on night in four hours for this game. You couldn't build an executioner? So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And uh, I've also got uh, a knight valiant here that I'm going to ink while we're talking. Uh, okay. I'm going to f- fix up some of the red on it first because some of the red is off. Um, and then I've got two of these bad boys, Armager Helverans. They need a little bit of work. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work on those or not. I'm not really into them. Oh. And I like to paint things I'm into. So, Right. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah speaking of your, I'm doing. so speaking of your game, today was actually the end of our season league. three from our league. Mm-hmm. He keeps on calling them heats, but it's more or less seasons. Yeah, they're seasons. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he calls them heats, but that's fine. I'm not in charge. <laughs> How did you do in your in your pod? I think I went th- two and two, three and two. You didn't, you didn't move up though, right? I did not. No, I stayed in the center, which is fine. Um, I had a very closely contested loss, and then I had a loss where I was like blown out. I got caught um, very unaware by a triple discordant list. <laughs> I won, didn't know I was going to be playing that. Um, I had not played it yet. Uh, that warms my heart. So I ran into three Alpha feel- Legion, Lord Discordance, plus Mortarian, plus a ton of Plague Bearers, <sighs> and this mirror thing. Oh, the epitome? No, the, the epitome. Yeah, yeah, the epitome. Yeah, where I did you can't not fall back. know what the epitome did, so I moved within 12 <laughs> inches of it to shoot it with my melted guns on my Castellan. And he's like, cool, I'm going to turn that off for the turn. I'm like, you're going to do it, excuse you? Oh, because he had the for- oh, because he gave it the forbidden gem. That's yes, that's not a that's gem. not the epitome's ability. It's the well, it's whatever. Relic. I didn't know this thing had some gem on it. That's gonna turn me off. Yes. So I was like, "Excuse you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn your your thing off. Your Castellan. Yeah. For for the turn, he's like, "No, just for the phase." So then I ended up charging with the Castellan and killing it, but I lost an entire round of shooting, which meant that instead of having all the Lord Discordance dead on turn two. The Lord Discordants didn't all die till turn three. So Mortarian didn't die till turn two. All three 
Lord Discordance weren't dead till turn three. And at that point, he'd gotten enough of his other characters and stuff into me that it was just gone. And that one, I was playing Castellan and two uh, Helverins. Um, for the most of the league, in fact, all the league, the entire league, I played the same list. Yeah. I played um, Castellan and two Helverins in a Raven detachment. And then I played a Space Marine Vanguard with um, a small unit of vet- two veterans just for the tax, the Ancient Banner. Um, an apothecary, smash captain, a uh, all crimson fists, and then in the heavy slot I took eliminators, mm-hmm. um, and then in one game I swapped those out for an assassin because I had like I had the ten extra points also in the list, oh, okay. and then also um, I took the five centurions with the hurricane bolters and heavy bolters, so I was doing centurion star, and then I also had enough room for an astro military and battalion with double commanders, three infantry squads, all with mortars. And a three-man mortar squad uh, heavy weapon team. Oh yeah. Um, so that list did pretty well in a lot of my games, um, but it wasn't enough in all. Of them. And I couldn't play the fifth game. Um, there was scheduling issues with a lot of the people in my pod, and I could not find a, a ringer game, and I got a. Uh, basically, I got a dispensation to not play my last game because I was <laughs> there was a request that I change a game that I had scheduled, and so the last player I didn't play was the guy I was supposed to play when I was asked to change. So, yeah. um, Jeff, the league organizer, was just like, "No, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it." So, I think most people got at least four games. There weren't many, there were many people that didn't make, get at least four games in. Oh yeah, no, it was, it was, the league is really well run. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people might to play. Have to we might yeah. actually have to add an extra pod now. Cause yeah, because like it's game popular, which is cool. That's good. Yeah, that's always better. It's always better to have <laughs> to add than take away. You know. Yeah. So I went o one and o four and one. So mm-hmm. I lost four and got a tie. Yeah. Because in the t- pod one, I decided to try. Let me try this shitty army and try to do well with it. Your renegades and heretics. Yeah. Yeah. Because I tried to run it as pure, but now good times. I'm gonna try to run it as a summoning list. That way, I stay pure, but I can summon stuff that's that actually. That sounds good. much better, to be honest. Like yeah, a lot, a lot good. better. <laughs> we'll see. Probably because you I'll had try. help with that list. I'm just saying. I did, but I'm not gonna give them any credit for it. No, of course not. You shouldn't. Nobody deserves credit but you. All your idea. <laughs> Fully 100. percent Oh my! I'm the one that has to suffer through playing it. <laughs> That's true, and if it doesn't work, that's... yeah, just like with Danny, if it doesn't work, I can just blame them. But if it works, it's all me. That's true. Um, so I'm gonna stick stick with it for the league, and the I'll play it at SoCal Open just to get my GT score. Mm-hmm. But that's about that's about it. Any other GTs? I, I don't know what to play. I don't know if I'll do Chaos Knights, Knights, or Should well, I probably won't do Knights. Play it as, at all of them, just because. At all of them, just yeah. because. I mean, it's not going to be bad. It's not going to be amazing, but it's not going to be bad. And it's going to catch some people by surprise. You might actually end up doing fairly well with it. At which point, I mean, you could just like lock down that thing, except for we're talking about it on the internet. So a bunch of people would be like, I'm going to do that too. <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't think, well, we'll see what happens. Depends all, it depends on what I summon, really. Uh, That's what it comes down to. Plague bearers? Other than that. Oh. Well, that depends on what I'm playing up, what I'm up against. Like I played a game against. I mean, uh, what are Plague Bears not going to be good against? Obviously, it, at this point, they haven't been nerfed because everybody should yeah. be able to tell that there's going to be a nerf. <laughs> so don't act all sh- surprised when that happens. But what are they not good against? Well, I only have 300 points, leaves me 100. It depends because if I want to, if the other option is if I want to keep something in combat, then I would summon the epitome. But the epitome is like 200 points. But that thing, oh, maybe because I was playing Knights. I'm like, that thing dies easy. It might be because I was playing Knights. <laughs> right, but it's a character. So if I can hide it with my 50 man blobs. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm in Demon Edge. I'm not, I'm not that much of a glutton for punishment. Who said that? Pyro Pyro Weasel. <laughs> Who said that? You said it all angry. Because if it was Dayton, I was going to get mad. Oh. Um, then I like we will. Weasel is fine. All right. It's acceptable. 
So that's the plan for next league. Cool. I believe you're you're sticking with the knights. You're going to go chaos knights. No, I'm going chaos. Chaos. Right. Oh, just chaos. In because general. I want to be able to play with something that's good and not just knights. Because knights on their own are not good. Not by themselves. So yeah, I'm going to play. I'm playing what I'm painting actually right here. The red corsairs. Yeah, some red corsair battalion. Um, you don't want to take a squad demons. of twenty, so you can you can do a recursion. No. There's too many points. Okay. I need points for all, all my right. knights. It's only 300 all points. All the knights I can possibly fit. All That's right. what I need. Stop trying to ruin my mojo. I want to do Chaos Knights, but I'll have to wait for the book and see if it's what I want to do. I think yeah, I'm sticking I'm to Renegades. For Renegades. Books. I'm just doing it. Uh, I'm, I'm, waiting for, I'm going to do Renegades and Heretics for the rest of the season anyway. Yeah. And then next season, maybe I'll do Chaos, chaos in general with the Knights. Yeah, it makes sense. Or maybe I'll do chaos, Renegades and Heretics with a Castellan. Okay. Well, I, um, I don't think the Tyrants are going to be as popular. It's going to be the Double Gats and... Yeah, and the their version of the Gallants. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what... Although I made... Yeah, because having a giant knight rushing at you yeah. with the potential of getting way more attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, Pyro Weasel. I magnetized all my regular knights so that way uh i don't need to wait till the codex <laughs> <laughs> so uh i haven't decided yet i don't have the codex oh, icon class or so uh, uh, infernals the other one infernals i've been li i've listened to every single podcast has done a review so far uh, i've watched every single twitch review and read every review um but because i don't have the actual book i haven't decided yeah, we're not blessed. We're not hashtag blessed. No, we're not uh, positive for plastic, so. <laughs> or positive for previews or whatever the hell that phrase is. We're still, not alliteration is still good. Um, yes. the, those that also don't know, this week is ATC. Mm -hmm. uh, Car Carlos from our team is going with the Warhammer guys and playing on their team. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, it's going to be a good event. John, John painted his uh, I did paint Caladius his for him. Mm -hmm. I painted all of his custodes. Oh, you did? I thought yeah, it was any, just any custode he's got on the table. I painted. You paint so if they win, you're going to take credit. No, I'm just saying I painted them. You should. Well, I'm not a glory hog. Really? I'm you're a, not. I'm not an attention whore. <laughs> okay. But you don't see my face on the stream right now. What? Uh, I'm just sitting here. Just your models. Your dying hands. of heat in this room because I closed the door. Oh, look at that! I don't have a door to close. You don't have a super annoying cat that'll jump all over everything if you don't do that. No, the cat knows to stay away from me. There you go. That's the answer. Just like just like kids. Kids. Nice. Or at least my kid. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> You've trained your kids well. Uh, um. So ATC lists are up. ETC lists are up. ETC's coming up too. Ray, I did not give myself that title. Actually, that Pablo gave him that title. Yeah. That title was bestowed upon me. And then we made fun of him for it, and it was he just kept it. earned righteously. It was not earned. It was earned. No, it was earned. I don't know how you earned it from Pablo, nor, and I don't want to know how. I earn it by being the most visible one. True. That's all. I I am the one that pushes John forward. Why don't you do the thing for me? Well, I'm also <laughs> the one that they always ask for when the, the event when yeah, they want. Yeah, you're the one I always ask. Hey, John, why don't you do? Or if they ask do? for the head judge, and you guys go, we're all head judges. They go, no, I want John. <laughs> So, well, it was it was someone else, but they don't no longer do it. So, yeah. such as life. Well, I think I think people respond to that or respond to that as opposed to like everybody's a head judge, which really is not what they want to hear. They want one person that they can be like, yeah. I want this guy to come oh. do this ruling. They want one person to complain to, and yes. quote unquote get you in trouble. Well, they chose the wrong guy. <laughs> they chose the right guy. I don't care. That's why you're the right guy. Like when they well, wanted to us... me, hey, that ruling that cost me the game. Okay. Uh, so far, I've had one person quit after a ruling I made. Nice. I quit 40k. Quit 40k. Yes. Well done. Yeah. What was the ruling? Not the player involved. Uh, what was the ruling? And were were you wrong? Yes. Uh... <laughs> no, wait. Let me correct. No, I wasn't. Uh, Not at that time. Be better if you were wrong. 
Well, you're never wrong when you make the ruling, technically. No, I know, but still. You know so, I mean. no, I wasn't wrong. Okay, now who's being a pedant? <laughs> I wrote a whole article about it. I know you didn't. I read it. I loved it. I loved every second of it. I loved the comments. So, but um, <clears throat> but I was enlightened as to the ruling. But yeah, so that, yeah, they quit. As far as I know, they could have come back, but it's been like over a year. It's been a while, actually. Just say they quit. Makes the story better. True. So I've made people cry and quit 40K. Cry? Yeah. Well, not while, while a judge, while I was a player. What? Back, back in fourth edition. No crying in 40K? What the heck? Well, apparently there is. It was a guy that would that played t- Black Templars. I remember this vividly because he oh. played Black Templars and he spoke like a he thought a space marine would talk. Oh. Like they do, like they do in the video games, or you know, it doesn't count when you make the special cry. <laughs> he wasn't spe- he wasn't special in that way. Are you this sure? Like, it sounds like it. And this guy, this kid, has to be like in his thirties. Oh, no, he's a kid. He had, he had been like well everyone's a, everyone's a guy. everyone's a kid to me nowadays so. right but at the time at the time he was maybe uh, older teens oh okay so not mm. so much a kid but a young adult no but like emotionally imbalanced probably so it's easier to make them cry that doesn't count I mean I've made adults cry too but not in forty k no in soccer right yeah yeah well that's cause soccer it's because male soccer players. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't it was a male his... soccer player. God damn it, you're ruining it was my a, narrative. It was a, it was a, it was a... Now you're ruining my narrative. And it was a team mom. Oh, that's different. Which is usually more... You make uh, team moms cry easy, too. Usually they're made of sterner stuff. But if they're like, super into it, they get super emotional about it. Like I think if they've well, got more writing on it than their kid has writing on it... Oh, whew. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it was boy. one of those. Yeah. I do not feel bad about it. But anyway, so ETC and ATC lists are up. Mm-hmm. Um, they're interesting. I don't know what they say about the meta. They don't. Well, they do because if you see what they're skewing against, you can see what they're ske- what the meta currently is like resist- trying to resist. So like okay. you, you, can, you have to kind of reverse engineer those to a certain extent. Like you have to look at, okay, what is this skewed list? being built to go against and what is its one weakness and they can kind of see okay well that's where the meta is at if you're not scared of this one thing it's not good against or maybe you're like okay that's a super powerful list so you've made this skew list that can handle pretty much everything else and you're just going to avoid the one so it, it takes a little bit more work and you really and more thought but i think that it does give a decent idea of where the meta is at when it comes to like that aspect of it or at least where it could go. Sure. And because because both both events rely on matchups mm-hmm. and avoiding or trying to get certain matchups. Yeah. Then I think it, it kind of skews the perception of like what the meta currently is. It does. In, ter- I in terms, I prefer the the like the. I prefer the tack that like Team Zero Comp takes when it goes to team current tournaments, mm-hmm. where people bring what they're comfortable playing. Okay. And if it happens to be something that's anti-meta, then great. Otherwise, they bring stuff that they all are comfortable playing and they know will do okay with the person piloting them. And that's that. Like, I think that that's the better strategy. Uh, I think Jeff is the proponent of that. I think he was the one talking about it the other day on chapter oh. tactics or something. But, uh, like, I, I think that that is the better idea. The better as opposed to, to making someone play an army because they, that army is like really good. It's good what? at the time, yeah. I think they did yeah. that with somebody. I don't remember. Somebody on their team chose to play Necrons at ATC. Uh-huh. And they were like, well, you're comfortable with that army and good with it, so play it. Like, oh, okay. Why would we force you to – why force you into something that you're not, not going to be comfortable with and you potentially lose with? Potentially lose badly with, too, if you're not careful, you know? No, oh, I didn't. And yet, I didn't realize and yes, how to play that, so – and yes, Guru Brenna, I don't care is my tagline because I don't. Yes. yes. I am a very, I'm a very Generation X uh, yes. person. I'm a very. It shows. Yeah, it does. <laughs> very much so. The meme, the meme where, uh, or the, the art, the caption that I think it was CNN 
where they mm-hmm. listed the different generations and they had yeah. skipped over Generation X. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're pretty regrettable or pretty forgettable. Well, not even that. It's, it's it, I think it was, has to do with like the problems with each generation. And then the bottom part of that meme was the picture of the guy from the office looking through the blinds and smiling. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that's yeah, Generation that's, X. That's a good one. I did like that meme. That was a good one. <laughs> Jim. Jim yeah. was looking through the blinds. There's yeah. a couple of really good versions of that meme. My favorite one is the one where like everybody's blaming Germany for World War One. Oh yes. And <laughs> and Serbian nationals are looking through the blinds. Yeah. Or Austria. Austria's looking through the blinds, one of the two. I remember. Or it's one the this. it's the uh the Arab Israeli conflict in Britain and France. Oh yeah. That's another Do good the sidelong glance one. Yeah, the sidelong glance is good too. <laughs> that little puppet. But um yeah, I think they show somewhat of what the meta is for, but not necessarily for what individual uh, competition. I know there's a lot more team tournaments coming up, or you know, being like there's one yeah. locally that uh, I think that... it just depends. Like, you have to you have to account for the meta because if you don't, and some team just brings all meta lists, well, okay, like right. you you might get screwed if you don't take that into account. But I also think that like there is a large number of skews. Yes. So you also have to account for, okay, a lot of people are going to be playing these crazy SKU lists. But I, I think sometimes people think a SKU list is like much better than it actually is because of how they do at a team event. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And so somebody's going to try to take one to a non-team event and get yeah. all salty because it doesn't work right. And then wonder why it doesn't work. Yeah. I, I, think, I think if you're going to do that, you got to be careful when you look at these lists and realize – the type of environment they're going to be in as mm-hmm. compared to a, a singular, a single player event. I would agree with that 100%. And maybe you can maybe take something similar, but not exactly the I, same. Yeah, I generally would not just straight up copy a team tournament list. Yeah. Unless you knew for a fact that that guy had built that as a take all comers, which I think or if is that more was like just... what Team Zero Comp does, is they're building yeah. more like, okay, everybody build your best take all comers for your faction. Right. And we're going to take that and we're going to play it. And we're not going to try to skew. And we're not going to try to plan for the skew. We're going to win on our abilities with our lists. Which I think with players of that caliber, like they've got Jeff, James, Carmona, uh, Junior's going for them. Like, it's, I think they'll I think, be fine. With I think that Ray's strategy. going. Ray, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Going? Ray, Ray's going for them. That's right. Ray is playing for them. Yeah. Well, he's on the team year. now, officially, right? He's been on their team for the last, last, the last year, year or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that they have a really good chance this year um, just because of their team. And because like Team Happy's the not team. there. Yeah, I think Frankie's going. Frankie's Yeah, Frankie's going. Frankie's taking GSC. Team Happy's there, aren't they? No. Oh. As far as I know, I don't think they're there. Oh. I don't really care. We would have known if they Beast were there. Beast Ghost is the one that always wins it. That's who you've you got to be No, Team for. Happy always won it. They Beast Coast won last oh, year. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Won the yes. previous years. Yes, you're right. Yes, I'm. I was mis- misremembering. <laughs> yeah, Ray's going. Yeah, I think Smart Money's on Team Zero Comp personally. Yeah, that, see, that would be my Ray, Ray is saying they're banned for this year or for forever. I think it was just this year. Who knows? Yeah. Case by case basis. Yeah, it's not my <laughs> not my tournament. Not my not my problem. So, well, who do you think will win ATZ? Oh, I, you know what? I mean, Reese and them always come in like second or third every year. Well, Reese isn't going. Oh, so they're Frankie's win. playing for Team Zero Comp, but Reese is <laughs> not playing. So that means they'll win. <laughs> they'll win the year he doesn't go. Oh, man. That's, he'll never live that down either. They'll all give him shit for that for forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. We won, we won the year you didn't go, so you can't ever go again. I can, ju- I can hear <laughs> Jeff Robinson's voice as I say that. I can I can hear him. Uh, Probably watch his Twitch channel too much. I can hear his voice. Maybe that could be that too. Could be. Um, speaking of um, the list and and addition, we were talking about earlier off the air. Uh, this is the second year. This past June was year two, basically of eighth eighth edition. Seems crazy, but then it seems like forever. Correct. It's been a good edition. I hope it does not get. Destroyed. 
<laughs> well, I fully expect an update like they do to the Age of Sigmar. Like a General's Handbook type update or? No, like a full 2.0, 40K 2.0. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. Because hmm. literally all the, once Sisters of Battle come out, they all the all the codexes are out. Well, as long as they don't change it so drastically that like all the codexes then become invalidated or like not uh, invalidated, but just like, oh, well, okay. So now this isn't worth playing anymore. Thanks. Well, this I mean. Is, uh, Chaos Knight Codex. Thanks. Or Sisters of Battle. Or Sisters of Battle would get screwed again. As, as you're hoping the you're hoping they they won't get uh, what happened to them in third edition. Yeah, that's oh, that's right. I forgot all about that. They were the last codex. They were the last second. codex of second, and then third yeah. came out, and that was a terrible codex. That's right. Then they reset everything. That's the last time they reset everything. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot all about that. It's crazy. Now until Inquisitors get a book, dang it. <laughs> that's not happening again. Yeah, I don't think that's that should happening. be sealed. <clears throat> but uh, your thoughts on eighth edition so far? I really like After it. Two years. I like it a lot. Um, it's way better than seventh. Yes. Way better than sixth. To be fair, seventh at the beginning was really good. Seventh got seventh. wonky at the end with the formations and all the I think, Taudar. And I the I know they plan nonsense. like years ahead usually when stuff like this. At yeah. least in the past, I think they already knew they were going to go to eighth and just like. Yeah, they're like, F it, let's do everything up we've ever wanted door. to do. Yeah. Which is why you got like the Traitor Legions book, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, so there was stuff about Seventh I really enjoyed. I loved playing that Traitor Legions book. I really liked the flavor that I could build with like Death Guard lists. Yeah. Um They weren't amazing, but they were really cool to play. Uh they were they were fine and they're competitive enough. Uh Alpha Legion was another good one from that book. Um yeah. But seventh came off the rails. Eighth is really was really really good so far. I'm really happy with eighth. So far, uh, so I good. Still there think fifth been... was the most balanced <coughs> until the end. Ruined it. Um, yeah. As far as like competitive play went, but but you eighth say, is Matt, Matt Ward. Really Matt good. Ward. I don't know if Matt Ward ruined it so much as like they were like, yeah, do whatever you want, dude, because we don't care about balance <laughs> anymore. And he was like, awesome, I'll totally do whatever I want. And that was it. I don't. I, you can't blame the single writer. Like, there's an overall view for the game that these companies have. You're saying because his bosses approved it. Yeah, I'm saying Kirby ruined 40k, which is why now he's relegated to a corner uh, boardroom. He did and he didn't. Don't 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 do that. No, I'm gonna don't do it because he did it because he did and he didn't. He did. He ruined the game itself, but not the yeah. models. No, he ruined the yeah. He ruined the game. That's all I'm blaming him for. Not the not the models. I didn't say anything about the models. I've never once bashed the models. He ruined the game. It's okay. Like when I mean when I think of game, I think the game as a whole. No, the game is the game. The models are the models. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is great. What do you think about it? Um, it's much better than any previous edition. I mean, I like seventh up until literally the end. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, until the formation. Until like what the last six months, right? That's basically. Yeah, because even the Necron Codex formations wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't until it wasn't until Space it wasn't until Marines. Taudar and Space Marines, Space Marines, Taudar, all that stuff. Yeah, and then they let everything go off the rails. Hey, don't don't get mad at my battle company. <laughs> I still have eight drop pods. Leave so. Brittany alone. Leave Brittany alone. I do not. I dumped those right before eighth, and I was never happier. Yeah, that prediction was amazing on my part. I think I think they're going to come out with 2.0 next year. I just have a, I, they have to. But with, with we're already in, we're going to be tingling. We'll be up to f two chapter, well, three chapter proofs now. Yeah. By the by, the end of this year, mm -hmm. and we'll have had four, five, big FAQs. Sure. With enough beta rules and erratas that we would need uh, to put it all back into. Consolidate all into one book. Or Allies one started source. in sixth edition, right? Alan's yes. asking. Yeah, sixth edition. So I thought. Alan started in sixth. No. Nah. Yeah. Well, okay. Technically, it was in second. You could take Allies. <sighs> God, that's fucking guy so old. But they brought it back in sixth. Who invited the old guy? I remember second edition. <laughs> yeah, sixth edition. I'm just saying. But they weren't that great in 6th edition. Like, I don't remember allies being super strong in 6th. No, seventh, the, super the, strong the new, in 7th. The new chart in 7th made them super strong. Yeah. Well, that plus formations. Yes. Yeah, when there you take no triple riptides with your yeah. Wraith Knights and, uh, yeah. 
there were no formations in six, so there was no real reason to ally. Yeah. Sixth was bad. But, but <laughs> <laughs> I did not enjoy sixth. I came in on the tail end, so I came back. I left early fifth and then came back late sixth in mm-hmm. terms of playing, playing, but I still kept tabs throughout the whole the whole time. Right. But um but I think I I I strongly feel they're gonna they they're they're gonna have a two point oh forty K two point oh just like what they did with Age of Sigmar. So it may, it may be a little more than just the eight pages originally, but it's, it's... As long as they don't ruin it. I don't think they'll ruin it. I think they'll just consolidate all the rules they've made, all the changes they've made, like the rule of three, things like that, the, all the beta rules. Yeah, I mean, uh, there does need to be some consolidation. There's a lot of places there's rules now. You know, because with all of the FAQs... They and really that, should like, just erratas. either print the FAQs in a way where you could like literally cut them out and paste them into the book. They used to do that. I know. Or they need to reprint the books with the FAQs in them for like when they change editions. They're not going to do that. I I know. Saying That's I like know the people that say they should just put everything as a living rule book and not sell books. They're not going to do that. I know, I know. Uh, but, you know, I can dream, okay? No. You're crusher of my hopes and dreams, always. 40K always. universe, you don't get to dream. No way, you have to crush everything. Because it's 40K. Suck all the joy out of life. If you want like a happy dream, go to go play like Infinity or something. What? That's not happy. That you're playing Infinity. <laughs> I mean the universe, not the game itself. But you, how's that universe happy? It's happier than 40k. In what way? It's not grim dark. Right, but like, okay. It's all it is is corporations fighting against each other. That's pretty freaking depressing. No, for you maybe. That future is not not. Fun. I would prefer. I would prefer that. That over demons. I mean, it depends on the sucking. demon. I certainly don't <laughs> I would... want to be anywhere near a Slaneshi one. <laughs> but a Nurgle one wouldn't be terrible. You know, for pain. Probably. I'm, yeah, like uh, Guru Bananas. Like they already have Chaos 2.0 Codex. That is true. That is a good point, actually. Which is the only one they've updated so far. Like they didn't update the demon codex, Mm-mm. or anything. Yeah, like which that. is interesting too. I didn't think about that. Had not thought about that. Good point. I don't know. We'll see what the next box set is. But I fully expect two point So look for that on the. As long as the next box set doesn't have Tau in it, we are good to go. <laughs> then it won't sell. Easy yeah. as that. It's true. Tau players don't buy things because they already have everything. You'd have to put out a box set that has like all new Tau models to get Tau players. It'd have to be like Crude or uh, Oh, Vespa. God. That's right. Those things still exist. Oh, I see man. people use them. Oh, man. You're never going to get to like version <laughs> 2.0 if they've got to update all that crap first. Whew. That'll be part of the update. Tau 2.0. Now with new models. New plastic Crude. Damn, that's just depressing. <laughs> what a terrible release. How to kill how to kill a company in two easy steps. Just ask Privateer Press. Well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Announce a new mark and don't beta test. Um, yeah, and, then, so, and then shit all over your uh, player base. Yeah. So So we'll move on to uh listener pay. We had, so we have a Patreon group, our Patreon group um, for those that what? Support us you make money off this thing? I didn't where's say my, make where's money. Where's my paycheck? I just said, I just said Patreon. Group. Hold out on me, man. I want, I want more money. Sure. Uh, so one, then we just asked for questions, and they, a few, we have a few questions. Um, one person asked if we. I'm just saying, in my normal of, job, I get paid for answering questions. He said he sees a lot of Admec placing in the top four recently. So what's what's their what are Admec's bad matchups? Like Admech Pure, or is he talking like Admech as part of stuff? Uh, let's go Pure. Admech's bad matchups. Uh, I know, I know, it's Lord Discordance. Yes, Lord. Discordance. Anything Imperial has a bad matchup with Lord Discordance right now. I think everything has a bad matchup with Discordance, right? <laughs> no, Imperial players, especially because you get the, uh, the yeah, extra yeah. hits, no, the no. Death or the False Emperor. But um, 
Yeah, Discordance definitely. I would think Demons in general would give Admech a hard time, depending on what you're running with them. Because the invulnerable save and possibly yeah. still no pains. Yeah, and then also the minuses to hit. Um, I would expect to see a lot more Mechanicus now with the new tank thingies. Yeah. Because I think those are going to be popular. People are going to want to run those. Those are just released this week, yeah. too. Mm hmm. Pure is BS because they still get knights. That's what Ray says. <laughs> they get one knight. Ray, I have been saying for forever that Pure is BS. It's Ray, BS you obviously on weren't listening. Many, many, many levels, Pure is nonsense. The We've fact that you can discuss- be Pure <laughs> and summon in 800 to 1,000 or whatever points of demons is also Listen, BS. That's perfectly fine. It is not. That's not Pure. The yes, fact that is. you can take Space Marines. And pay a CP and add in an assassin. You are no longer two pure. CPs. Whatever two CPs. It doesn't matter how much you're paying. You're still adding in something that's not part of that does not have your keywords. It's not pure. It's stupid. According to the rules, it's pure. According to the rules that were made up <laughs> by people who were wrong. All the rules are made up. I understand. <laughs> and in this case, the people who made them up were absolutely incorrect. The people have spoken, John. Shit on the people. <laughs> I give a goddamn about the people and what they want. Uh, Direct quote from Lincoln. <clears throat> Love that movie so much. <laughs> Thaddeus Stevens says that, and that movie is the best. Love that part. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't. I don't mind it. I, I played almost pure Black Legion when when I played to be. Because you no longer care about competition. True. At least not playing anyways. In terms <laughs> right. of judging, I can't care. Right. I like care you like the that. idea that the competitive stuff exists, but you're yeah. not competing. No. So I can't. Can. I'm not playing in LVO. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's My the problem with being a judge for LVO. Super low. You can't actually super compete low. for anything worthwhile or like that's contested because you, you can't win it because you can't play yeah. LVO. I'd have to score like so many points that they, nobody can catch me like Adrian did that one. Yeah, that's right. Adrian did do that. That's funny. But it was Sisters of Battle. Yes. Well, you do want to play Renegades and Heretics, so there's that. Well, yeah, I guess. But that <laughs> means I still have to play well, and that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's true. Uh, next question is, thoughts on modeling requirements for Chaos Knights? Ray? Modeling requirements for Chaos Knights. It should look, you should be able to walk up to the table. And recognize that it is a Chaos Knight, not an Imperial one. So if that means it's got a giant Chaos symbol decal on it, or a giant Chaos back banner, or it's like the literal Chaos Knight, fine. But like you should be able to walk up to a table and tell, with a glance at the Knights, that are, they are Chaos Knights. So if what you if need a, a, if I have a, knight that has... a banner that has a giant <laughs> Chaos Star on it, do it. If you're going to put the decals, do it. Like, it, But it should be recognizable by sight. How about I just take the knights that I currently have? No, because you have Aquilas on them. What if I put an X, I carve an X in those Aquilas? As long as it is easily viewable that you've carved the X in it, I would be fine with that. Like they, yeah, like they've, uh, like when Space Marines cross out their chapter symbol. Yeah. Like if you've crossed it out and like painted over with like a red something or other. Yeah. That's fine. Like it needs to clearly be that it's chaos. Oh, yeah. That's all. And like, there's a lot of ways to meet that very minimal and totally understandable oh, yeah. requirement. That's why, yeah. I can easily paint an X over my, all my Aquilas yeah. on my... Like if you've brought a knight. Nurgle Knight, which many people have modeled those Nurgle Knights. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy. I know it is. If you painted a Cornate symbol on it, clearly, you know. Yeah. Like there's easy ways to do it. What people want to be able to do is not put any effort into changing their Knights over. But John, I really want to play Chaos Knights and not want to put any effort. I understand. And I hear you. And you're wrong. <laughs> I'm listening to what you're saying. And I acknowledge what you're saying. <laughs> I acknowledge your request. <laughs> and I would like you to stand there in your wrongness and be wrong. <laughs> and I will deny that request and your yes. happiness. Yes. All those things. All those. those things. Now, if I were to do Chaos Knights, I'd probably just buy the new kits. I already have one. For I the wouldn't because the new kits kit. don't come with all the options. And that pisses me off. Well, luckily, the options it comes the, with sucks. It the comes, option, the like the chain sword and the fist, yeah, that's don't it. have imperial symbols on them, which is fine. So whatever, bits by those. Like seriously, the new the new kit sucks. The new kit is fucking stupid. The new <laughs> kit has this the terrible gun. 
that uh, Laz whatever. That's oh, really for bad. The, for the wannabe Perceptor? Yeah. Yes. Well, no, it's actually better than a Perceptor. Right, but it's the same. It gives the same buffs. Yes, it's the, the same buffs and for stuff. The and war, for the war, quote unquote war dogs. Yeah, and it's hit. a similar kind of weapon. It's a yeah. terrible weapon that comes in the kit. It it does not come with anything else that you would think it should come with, like any of the other weapons. Like, why? I wouldn't. If I was going to start over from scratch, which I've kind of done with this knight army that I'm doing, like it's <laughs> brand new because I sold the other knights. Yeah. Um, and although this, is, a lot of these ones are also the TFG Radio Team Knights. Oh yeah. Um, Stupid night challenge. Oh, it's also like we have a set of knights for the team to play, or our, our TFG Radio group to play with. Did you put chaos symbols on them? No, I'm going to do back banners. You should have. We should have done the logo as a chaos symbol. No, because that's heretical, and I would not take part in this podcast. Oh my god. Um. The like the, the relic version of that gun also sucks. Jeff said it was okay. Yes, Jeff Robinson said it was okay. Jeff saying something is okay is not a glowing endorsement. <laughs> That's not a glowing recommendation. Because <laughs> when he says the word okay, it drips with sarcasm. <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah, it, uh, but, uh, the new kit is cool because of the legs. Yes, it looks better. Um, the carapace is cool because it's spiky bits. Like, but okay. So like with, you're breaking, with, you're breaking Pyro Weasel's heart. I'm sorry, Pyro Weasel. <laughs> Uh, then we're gonna get another piece of hate mail and lose a viewer. <laughs> Damn, I just Aren't you glad you're on the Twitch stream? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, heart, <laughs> live, hey man, I found the Twitch screen. Oh, sucks. <laughs> oh my um, god, it's so good. It's, uh, yeah, it's hard because like I want that kit to be really good, but they didn't put the good sprues in it. Is it just one kit or are there multiple kits? It's one kit. So know. that yeah, it's one kit. Mm. If the pre-orders are indication so it's like oh, come on guys you don't think it's going to be a like a later kit or like I mean, they no. could do just do an upgrade sprue well i mean they could but will they i don't think so i don't know i mean they, they could do, do an upgrade every... sprue, but when was the last time they released just an upgrade sprue for knights never right but they've done it for the diff- the space marine chapters dark Angel. maybe Blade eventually what they'll do is add the sprues for the weapons to that kit and then charge another twenty dollars sure Whatever. I mean, that's what they did to the loyalists. So, sure, yeah. why not do it to everybody? Um, <laughs> but like, I also don't hear anybody actually complaining about that. I've never complained about it. About the about the loyalists? fact that you get yeah, they came out with the other kit, charge you twenty more bucks, but it comes with every single thing. I am happy to pay the twenty extra dollars so that I can now have every option possible and magnetize it. Right. Like I have the, enough fists and chain blades. Uh, yeah. Outfit. Uh, just the idea that like you will you would release this night for this new release mm-hmm. and have literally only the bad options in it for guns. <laughs> and Chaos never gets the good options for guns. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just it, model wise, it's a rough release. I think rules wise, this is gonna be really cool. I right. think they're gonna be really awesome. Um, but model wise, it's rough because like you could have released a really cool new night kit. They could have put out a new tyrant. That would have been cool. Like so. Yeah, like Guru Banana saying, "There's no carapace weapons." Yeah, that's right. Also, there's also no carapace. Yeah, they, there's nothing in the kit but the stupid gun, which sucks, and the fist and the sword. Where everybody's got fist and sword, it's coming out everywhere because everybody's got gallants. Yeah. So, it's hard. I mean, I want to like it. Because it looks better, I think, than the other knights. The posing looks much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I can't because it doesn't come with the options that are good. So why would I buy that? Like, I'm literally putting in an order tomorrow Mm -hmm. for another knight, and I'm ordering a warden kit because it comes with all the options. Yeah. And will it look as good? No. But I will have all the options, and I'll have it magnetized, and that's what matters, being able to play with the options. For me. Other people, not so much. Other people are like more hobbyists than I am. And they were like, no, man, absolutely. I will buy all these kits. I will do everything. Um, Which is cool. That's how you are. I'm not that way. All right. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, Next question. Before I rant any further and get fired. (laughs) Yes. Although I was pretty even keeled with that rant. I don't even think it would qualify as a rant. 
I never said rant. I just said moving on. You're defensive about your rants. That's why. I'm defensive about nothing. So the next one is, uh, can a pure Space Marine army be competitive slash viable currently? Um, you know what? That, that ties into the game I played last night. Really? Why don't you tell us about your game? So last night, I... Uh, well, tell us what led up to the game. So in our team chat, we were, there was a discussion. So there's a couple players in our team who were really into the new Repulsor Exterminators. And I made a comment of like, yeah, they're great. They're 300 points of get to shoot them once. And that elicited angry emojis and sad react faces <laughs> and all kinds of things. Um, Stop being contrary. snarky comments about my record at Barry Open and why they wouldn't <laughs> want to listen to me because of X or Y or whatever. And I was like, cool. You bought two, you've bought got two of these things. Let's play. We'll play Tuesday. And he's like, okay, let's play. So I played last night with um, a version of my BAO list, not the double Castellan list. The list I should have taken had I actually had the time to prepare and thought about it and like you know <laughs> um but as we've talked yes. about well, I'm going to Bay Area Open was the last minute and I just cobbled yeah. together a list that was double Castellans and um um so I played a Castellan House Raven of course because that's all you do if you're taking a Castellan if you're smart and two Crusaders and Astro Militarum Battalion the one I was discussing earlier and also uh, I took a Vindicare in this game um, but I take okay. the I take the option to take the the you play the, the two Pokemon. CPs, yeah. yeah, the Pokeball Assassin for eighty five, and he took two of the Executioner Repulsors and a regular Repulsor and Gilliman and Tigerius and two Tech Marines and three Thunderfire Cannons and two squ- three squads of scout two squads of scouts and a squad of Intercessors and Telion Telion. Um, That's the scout guy, right? The scout HQ, yeah. He's uh, only like 60 points or something. Yeah, and he's actually not bad. Like, his bolter's cool, and he's got a couple of cool little tricks. And uh, I was like, hey, let's let's play and see which one's best. And I th- going into that game, I was like, okay, they're going to suck. They're going to die. And they did. They were both dead by turn. I think it did actually take turn three. I had the no. one down to two wounds. Yeah, and he, he healed kept on it, healing and it. He kept healing it up with the tech marines. Um, but it was not operating at full Right. Um, it took him two full turns to kill the Castellan, uh, at which point two full strength crusaders were in his face because we had hammer of animal deployment. Um, but I am sold on the idea that the executioners are good enough that you could run them. Mm-hmm. Um, but you are definitely playing at a huge disadvantage of if you don't go first, at least one is dead. Because whatever right. armies you're playing against have the ability to kill a vehicle. Even a 16-wound T8 vehicle. Um, they are resilient. But I do think that Gilliman plus those and Tigerius uh, plus things like maybe uh, you could get fit some aggressors in or something like that, something better than the scouts that he was running mm-hmm. or the intercessors and the, the, the Thunderfire cannons. I did not like the Thunderfire cannons. Um, in his list? Or you didn't just like I, how they... In general, I don't think they're that great of a choice for Space Marines. I think there's other stuff you can really? take that are more... yeah. Um, I mean, maybe they just perform suboptimally in our game. Um, but I think that, yes, you could build a pure Space Marine list, but it's going to require you to do things like you're going to have to take Centurion Star, like Imperial Fist Centurion Star, or you're going to have to take yeah. um, Gilliman. Um, and you could take the Repulsors then if you want to. But it's really going to be really hard to build one. That's pure Space Marines. I think you'd actually have more success trying to build a pure Space Wolves list, which tells you just how hard it is to build a pure Space Marines list. Yeah, uh, pure Blood to... Angels, yes. You can just ask Thomas Hextramoki about that. <laughs> Go read the articles. Go read the articles. He's writing some great ones about his rundown about going 5-0 and 0, uh, at Boise Cup with pure space, uh, pure Blood Angels. Um, but if you want to run pure Space Marines... You're limited in options, but I do think it's more viable now with that new tank than it was before. It adds a dimension to the Gilliman list that it was. Yeah, kind the, of lacking. the 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 tank, the new tank with the because they have they have a uh, a watered have, down version of a volcano lance. Yeah, and they have a nascent ability to shoot twice. Yeah, like it's like not a strat. Shoot. It's yeah. not some special ability you have to trigger. You don't have to roll for it. If you stood still or moved half your movement, you just get to shoot that gun twice. And it's the same. Is, it's the same as uh, grinding advance for yeah. Imperial Guard. 
And that gun Rosses. is devastating. Strength 10, minus 3 or 4? Yeah, I think it's minus 3. Yeah, had Ishmael gone first in that game, it would have been a very, very, very different game. Oh, yeah. Um, Because if you got to double fire both those things against my Castellan, it's dead. Turn one, dead. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter that I have the four plus invul save because I couldn't make one of those to save my life <laughs> that game. Um, but yeah. even then, even if my rolls had been good, it's still dead. It's not. It's not surviving that. It's it's too much firepower. Yeah, plus especially because it does minimum three damage. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I forgot. The it's D three it's D6. Really. It's D6 damage, mm-hmm. but a minimum of three. Yeah. So any one or two is, is a three. three. Yeah. Which is really, I mean, it's really good. I think uh, it, it the game did turn me around on the idea that I was thinking they're unplayably bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't believe that anymore. I just don't think that they're like top tier. You're going to see them all over the place. But if you run two of them in a Gilman gunline list, are you automatically now taking something terrible? No, you're not. But you are still playing Space Marines. <laughs> I mean, and they're almost like Razorbacks. They can hold six, can hold uh, six guys, yeah. Six primaries model. Mm-hmm. And the other, the other tank, the original repulsor holds ten, and it still has the really cool Gatling gun from the first repulsor yeah. too, which is nice. Um, so there's a lot of weapons on it, so it can pump out a lot of damage. Um, I think that if I had had a different list where there was more options for him to shoot at, he could shoot that heavy laser thing at it, at the Castellans, Instead. and then like well. mulch my infantry. But my infantry had good places to hide and stuff, so yeah. It was just that was just uh, Power it was. Weasel is asking if uh, Space Marines have a kind of invulnerable bubble. I don't th- think they do, do they? I don't think. I think. Uh, I think maybe Dark Angels might. I can't think of a Space Marine. No, they have the minus that. one bubble. Yeah, they have the minus one to hit bubble. No, I want to say the Terminators have something that makes that gives the invulnerable save to the Land Raider because I've seen people use it. What? I think the I think Dark Angel. The hell is a Land Raider? I think you saw you saw it. He was using it as a repulsor <laughs> executioner. Uh, his proxy was uh, one of those his things. His proxy is mythologically known as a Land Raider. His uh, I think the Dark Angel uh, Deathwing have a relic or a banner or something that gives them a invulnerable saves and it transfers to a vehicle that they're in. Weird. Yeah. Weird. That's the only thing I can think of. Dark Angel oh. things. It's because there's so many secrets. Yeah, like Ray saying it's Dark Angels. Yeah. Ezekiel has it. They have all their um, secrets. <laughs> Got to keep them secret. Safe. Um, the other question. Don't write a poem about it. <laughs> it's your secret. The last question, at least from the uh, from the uh, Patreon group, is from Alan. What? He's in a Patreon group. Yeah. Got well, you. he's part of, part of the show. Oh, that's right. I kind of had to put them in. Uh, do you know anyone who has bought Forge World products from Forge World? Has bought Forge World products from Forge World? Yeah, this guy right here. I did. I do all the time. Every Forge World product I have is from Forge World. My Porphyrion, my uh, Leviathons that are sitting on my painting desk. Every model I have is from Forge World. Yeah. Yep, yep, for sure. Uh-oh, do we lose you? <laughs> what? Who me? Yeah, it's not oh, like no. your, your audio dropped out. No, I I was too busy laughing. Oh, okay. Just, uh, silent guffawing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, lots yeah, of people buy from Forge World. Oh, this yeah. is going to be Alan's next thing. He wants to try to ban everybody from bringing Forge World because it's all fake. I guess. Man, that guy's been trying to ban Forge World since like third edition. Since Forge World was first around. Yeah. I used to be on the side with that. But really? I, evol- I evolved, Alan. <laughs> oh, yeah. In addition, I was definitely on the no Forge World bandwagon. Well, that was a different time. Yes, a very different time. Yeah. See, I evolve with the times. They match. My sentiments match. Well, My especially now match. that you have the rules for Forge World. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And they haven't had like game breakingly bad rules for a little while now. You can argue argue the Caladia stinks. Well, those are beta, and those are bad because of the playtesters. <laughs> I blame the playtesters for that. True. I'm sure they helped come up with them. So, <laughs> Guru Banana also know will Swedish people win prizes again at OVO this year for being Swedish? I would hope so. 
right? Well, I mean, the, sure. the, the Carl, the person that won last yeah. year, isn't coming. He said he's he could only come every other year. Now. Yeah, which may, I mean that makes sense. He's got to come all the way from Sweden, so yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't blame him for that. That's for sure. But uh, well, we're getting closer to LVO, so we'll start to talk about if any of you have contests or something for that. We are going to do our haiku contest, since that's going to be an annual thing now. Nope, not a thing. That will start in October. It's definitely not a thing. Oh, it's a thing. And you it's already gave us the idea, and I remembered. So I don't remember it. I vividly remember it. And I'll go back to the tape. Nope, there's no tape. I burned that episode in the fire. Yeah, that episode got destroyed in a 7.1 earthquake in Ridgecrest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're fine, everybody, for the earthquake. I marked myself safe. I didn't even feel it. it wasn't even That's because you, we, we, already met, we already established you are in the boonies. Yeah. With the hills of eyes. I'm never happier to be down at the lake. <laughs> it the was hills fine. have eyes. <laughs> um, so, again, this weekend's ATC. See how it goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pro, uh, what's the, what do they call it? I forgot the name of the Twitch stream. They'll be streaming oh, the... Tabletop. A uh, pro oh, table there top. It is. It's pro, pro table top. My article tomorrow for Frontline Gaming. Um, if you're listening to this, it won't be tomorrow. But if you're watching it on Twitch, it's tomorrow. So my Seven Eleven article. Um, <laughs> Remember, has, everybody. Has 7-11. Links, it has links to their Twitch stream. Seven Eleven tomorrow. So. Go get your uh, or today, depending on when this releases. <laughs> yeah, and Go allegedly they're gonna have like a really really cool setup. So they're gonna stream all five tables. Yeah. Yeah, which is amazing if they pull it off, which I think they can because they're pros. They, there can because it's a professional Twitch stream that's mm-hmm. branching into, yeah, tabletop 40k. Yeah, so they already have all the stuff necessary to do it well. The Which producer, cool. the equipment, the personnel, yeah. they have all that. It'll be a 40k stream done right. <clears throat> that's what I'm hearing. Well, let's see how it goes. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I said. That's why I'm hearing. <laughs> I did not say for certain it was. So Guru Banana will be there. At LVO? Cool, man. Yes, so so we'll have to make a prize. Just we will not be giving out meatballs and redfish. We Neither could. the meatballs spelled correctly, nor the meatballs spelled incorrectly, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the American education system. I blame you, John. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alan is way too old for me to have taught. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's any other questions in chat, I don't think so. Uh, besides prizes for Swedish people. I mean, this has been almost a two-hour show, man. I know, just the two of us. Just the two of us. When a bunch of balls get together. <laughs> there we go. Christ. Okay, on that note. Yeah, I think we'll call it for tonight. <laughs> Thank everybody for, <laughs> for yeah. talking about balls. Uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks. Yep. We'll have the results of ATC. Uh, I think we'll be closer to Slaughterfest. Yes. Uh, which is sold out. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a reminder to everybody that Frontline Gaming will be streaming Slaughterfest. Cool. On that last weekend in July. And then two weeks after that is uh, Hammer Wrath. Yep. Those tickets are still available? Those tickets are still available. And the prize is amazing. The prize for Hammer Wrath is an LVO championship ticket along with the high roller package. Yeah, which is so if, an amazing value. If you think you're going to be in the LA area, or you just want to come down and play five games of 40k over the weekend? Uh, sign up, and stop on by. Just look up for Hammer. Look up Hammer Wrath in the, yeah. in the Best Coast. Parents you will have app. to hang out with Adam though, because I won't be there. Yes, Danny will be there. I, Danny will be there. Tom, the Tom, going? I don't. I believe. Uh, oh no, I, I think know. there was something he had that weekend. <laughs> uh, Danny will be there in a rare appearance, tournament appearance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Come by, yeah, Guru Bananas Carl, who won oh, last for being Swedish. So he is going to be there again. Yeah. Awesome. He was telling me he wasn't. I think he was just trying to get sympathy. For oh, the prize. okay. Probably. He wanted the sympathy win? Yeah. Sympathy vote? Sympathy win. Sympathy vote. It's very American <laughs> of you. Trying to get the sympathy vote. <laughs> make sure, Carl, make sure you save up and go shoot guns afterward. Still not. <laughs> nice. Unfortunately, John will have to leave early that weekend. Yep. Again, it's on the one of two weekends. I'm contractually obligated to be at work on a Sunday. Thanks, Reese. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly yeah, not that important. <laughs> I'm sure it all revolves around. Here. I'm sure it does not. So <laughs> I'm sure that's not even a factor when they that they even consider when deciding the date. 
they don't. Yeah. With that being said, uh, yep. we'll see everybody in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, so, uh, again, keep an eye out for ATC. Check it out on Twitch. See how it goes. Hopefully, everything goes smoothly for them. And we'll talk to everybody in two weeks. Everyone have a good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs>